Hi, this is Nathan, your neighbor at Arcade and Pinball Talk Out. We're going to be reviewing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles by Data East today, today at Rec Bar 812 in Southern Indiana. Please look for our written review underneath the description of our YouTube video. And let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? First things first, with the new release of the Ninja Turtles by Stern, a new renewed interest has been uh, sparked in the Ninja Turtles. And that's a good thing. It's one of my childhood favorites. And uh, a great cartoon slash action game to, to have back on and in uh, the pinball alleys and arcades. First things first, flipper cap's not too bad on this game. Heavily blocked to the middle. Uh, traditional setup, which is in lane right left, out lane right left, targets to the left and right. You also have a spinning pizza, which is part of the new Ninja Turtles by Stern as well. You have a capture ball to the top left, two ramps that go up and exit to the left and right of your flippers, pop bumpers to the back, targets to the middle. You have a little scoop kick out to the back and then a little area where it goes back to the right lane and uh, that will go back to your pop bumpers. That's pretty much all this game is made up of. So it's a simple shooter. But one thing I want to point out is that right there, I was about to say it, is generally when it's coming out that right side, it generally will go down uh, straight down the middle. And uh, so just be aware of that. You want to try to keep it to the left of the, the table just to make your game a little bit longer. Beyond that, artwork is what you would expect of this game. It's Ninja Turtles. It actually looks pretty good for the time period that this game came out. Uh, the cabinet art looks good. Uh, the actual play field looks good. And as you can tell with the modes uh, to the middle, you have uh, not only your 7,500, 125K bonuses, but of course you have the different turtles that are lit up. So you have Donatello, Leonardo, Michelangelo, Raphael lit up, and of course Shredder to the top there. So as you can see, uh, obviously we're on location. We're obviously on location right now, so obviously we don't control exactly what happens with the pinball machine, but sometimes coil power can be a, bit, a little low, or flipper power, and of course we call that out in the video. Uh, there's your kick outs, there's Donatello, so we selected him and beat that mode. Now we're moving on to Leonardo right now. Theme is there, Ninja Turtles is awesome. Love Ninja Turtles, trust me. It's gonna be a sellout for Stern. People are gonna enjoy it. They're gonna play it in the, in the pincades. Uh, beyond that, replayability on this game is kind of low. It's it's okay. Uh, fun factor is actually there. I love the turtles, so obviously I'm biased towards that. Uh, but beyond that, I would rate this roughly an 8.6 out of 10 at this point based off the metrics so far. So anyway, please look for a review underneath the description of our YouTube video. That's where all of our metrics will be broken down. And uh, until next time, this is your Neighborhood Arcade and Pinball Talk Guy, Nathan, signing out. Thank you for all your time. Thank you for watching.